trick-or-treaters and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my October wrap-up. So, without further ado, let's just begin. Um, um, I read three books this month and I'm currently trying to read the fourth one, but it's a Throne of Glass series book and I'm currently on page, I believe, 250 uh, around then out of 660 pages so I'm nowhere near being done and this is the last day of October so <laughs> I'm just going to not count that in this week's or this uh, wrap up because I haven't finished it so let's start with uh, my DNF um, I DNF'd one book this month and that was Mary Higgins Clark and Alfair Burke's All Dressed in White. Uh, this book is basically about like a murder, it's a murder mystery. Um, and the reason why I DNF'd it was because not only was it boring, um, it also, like the dialogue was awful. <laughs> um, the descriptions of things were horrible. And um, it just, it wasn't really my cup of tea, so I basically just couldn't handle this anymore, so I just DNF'd it. And I believe I DNF'd it on page 51, so um, not that far into this, but I just, I couldn't read it. It was awful, so yeah. <laughs> um, not saying that, you know, this book, uh, is just awful, um, this is just my opinion. My aunt actually recommended this book to me, and, um, in 2016, and, uh, I haven't read it until now, and, uh, didn't like it, so, yeah. Um, but she enjoyed it, so, yeah. Okay, so what books did I read, like, actually read <laughs> this month? Uh, the first book that I read was The Wa the Simple Wilds by K.A. Tucker, and oh my gosh, this book is so cute and so amazing, and I love it so much. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars, and if that doesn't tell you anything, I don't know what does. <laughs> this book is a romance, and it follows this girl who goes by the name of Kala, and she goes to meet her estranged dad in uh alaska and um he wasn't really a part of her life and she has a lot of built up anger because of that um towards him but he the reason why she went up there was because um her father is sick and so she went up to take care of him and then she meets this rogue like bush pilot named uh, I believe uh, what's his name Jonah <laughs> and like that it's a hate to love romance and I freaking love those and I loved this so much there are so many good like cute moments so many good steamy scenes and yeah um yeah this I I loved it so much um what I liked was it featured my favorite trope, which is love, or hate to love. Um, my favorite trope. <laughs> I loved the romance in this between Kala and Jonah. Um, I also loved, like, just this book made me just experience a wide variety of emotions, like, uh, I laughed out loud, I cried, I, um, cringed, you know, yeah, it's just amazing. It also takes place in Alaska, which I have never been, but I've always wanted to go to Alaska, so, yeah, um, and I'm kind of a sucker for Alaskan things, I guess, um, anything to do with Alaska for some reason, I don't know. And then um, I also really loved the writing in this. It was just so amazing and just, it just really put me into the story. Um, 
what I hated was there was some spelling errors in here or grammar errors, um, but overall it wasn't too bad. Um, but other than that, I loved it so much. And so, yeah, I love it. <laughs> um, okay, the next book that I read this month is a reread for me, and that is Wicca by Harmony Nice. And the reason why I read reread this is because I have, um, it was for home or not homework for school for just for me to pick out quotes and I just decided to read this again. Um, I read this last semester or last year in November and I believe I gave it a three stars. I'm not sure. Um, I don't remember. Three out of five. So basically that'd be a four for me. Um, and I did like sticky tab it and stuff. Um, but now, after rereading re this, I am giving it a 3 out of 5, which means I liked it, but I didn't really like it, you know? Um, yeah, it was still good, still useful information, but didn't enjoy it as much, I guess. And I think that's the reason being I read other books that have to do with witchcraft and Wicca, and I enjoy them more. I'm not saying I didn't enjoy this, but yeah. Um, and it's just, it's all about Wicca, um, the Wiccan religion, um, based on like Harmony Nice's um, opinions, I guess, of that interpretation. Uh, I liked the information that this provided. I just didn't like that it was really, really, really beginner for beginners and it was a bit repetitive um but yeah I did enjoy this but yeah <laughs> all right the last book that I read this year or not this year wow um the last book that I read this month was um Shelley Freydon's Halloween Murder and this was a bit of a disappointment at two um so basically what this book is about is uh, about this girl who she's an older woman and she has to solve um, a murder mystery in like this while this like Halloween fair is being prepared and she's in the Halloween fair um, in the small town and uh, yeah there's like uh, there's some like well, it's a murder mystery, but also, like, it has, before murder ever is a thing, it's, like, uh, pranks and stuff. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I gave this book a, what did I give it? Two out of five stars. <laughs> uh, it wasn't, it was gonna be a three for me, but then the ending just made it not good so it just ruined it so uh two out of five stars um i liked that at the beginning i was invested in the story in some characters i mean i kind of was well actually not in the beginning i was invested in the story and the characters throughout the whole thing um but i didn't like the ending and i didn't also like that the Halloween vibe was not really that great. Um, when a book is called Halloween Murder, you'd think that Halloween is like this big thing in the book, but there was like, um, not a lot of like Halloween vibes. And on a, I guess I could rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the most Halloween vibes you could get, and 1 being the least. Um, I'd have to give it, like, probably a, a four or a four, yeah. Um, not very much. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, which makes me sad, but, you know, that's okay. <laughs> so, that's all that I read, um, this month. <laughs> I mean, I, like I said, I am reading Tower of Dawn, which you can kind of see on the couch. Yeah, it's like, I'm in the middle of it. <laughs> um, but, you know, I 
didn't do a lot of reading this month. Um, hope that next month um, I should set a goal every time um, of how many books I want to read after the month. Um, my goal for next month is to read... I'm gonna shoot for four. Um, maybe five books. Um, depending on... well, four or five. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much how much I read a lot um, of. So yeah, my goal next month is to read four or five books. Um, and from my TBR for my November and October TBR, I actually managed to read two, or uh, no, currently, um, <clears throat> Tower of Dawn included three uh, books from that TBR, which is Halloween Murder, Simple Wild, and Tower of Dawn. And I did DNF uh, Mary Higgins Clark's book, which was also part of my TBR, so yeah. Um, anyways. <laughs> Uh, sorry this video was pretty short, um, I just didn't read a lot this month, so thank you so much for watching, and, uh, if you would like, you could like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, uh, I post book-related content, but I also start posting, like, fashion-related stuff, because I do have, like, a very 1950s, 1940s, um, style, I guess. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so you can also follow me on social media, which is Instagram and Goodreads, uh, to see what I'm up to. Um, and yeah, with that being said, I hope you guys have a good day, and thank you so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>